you're looking at the new breed of family car, SUVs are increasingly replacing sedans in Australian driveways, with more than 800 new vehicles being sold nationally every day. So we've assembled four of the best to see which one you should park in your driveway. And the four best were the Toyota RAV4, the Subaru Forester, Mazda CX-5 and the Honda CR-V. All four competitors are equipped with petrol engines, all-wheel drive capability and automatic transmissions. Toyota's RAV4 has been around in Australia since 1994. The latest iteration is the best yet. There's been quite a few family friendly improvements made on this car, namely the back door now opens vertically instead of out to the side and there's no bulky spare wheel on the back, it's now in the boot. One drawback of that is that you do lose some space in the boot, around 60 litres if you choose to pay the extra $300 for the full size spare. Inside the RAV4 is much nicer than the car before it, with less hard plastic in particular. The 2.5 litre engine ranked second worst for fuel consumption in this comparison and it was also the most expensive to purchase. The latest Forester is a huge improvement on its predecessor. There's plenty of space throughout the cabin, particularly the headroom, and there's also less hard plastic through the dash. However, some drawbacks were the smaller display screen and the old style radio that's used. The Forester is the only car in this comparison that gets a CVT Auto, and it's teamed pretty well with a 2.5 litre petrol engine. And while that provides good power throughout the rev range, it can become quite noisy at higher revs. But that CVT does help with fuel consumption, producing the second best figures in this shootout. The Forester was also the only car here with a specific off-road function, the X-Mode system, but it did lose marks for being less refined than its rivals. Honda's CRV is the most family friendly proposition here. The car has the biggest boot and it's also got great legroom throughout the cabin. It's also the only car in this comparison to get rear air vents in the back seat and there's no transmission tunnel either which means more space. It's also got the biggest number in terms of fuel usage and it was the equal heaviest on this test. With a load full of luggage and kids it could struggle at times with power. The CRV was soft and compliant during our road test absorbing most bumps with little fuss. Despite its comfortable ride, the steering still manages to be light and direct. Mazda CX-5 manages to be the most enjoyable to drive in this comparison, and it's also the best on fuel. Earlier this year, Mazda upgraded the engine in the CX-5 four-wheel drive range from 2 litre to 2.5 litre, and this led to great improvements in the way the car drives. In this comparison, the Mazda was the punchiest of the lot. Although there's less leg room in the back seat compared to its rivals, there's a nice use of soft touch materials throughout the cabin, giving the car a real luxurious feel. The Mazda is also kitted with some handy features. It's the only car here to get sat nav as standard, and the idle stop function is second to none. That, combined with its upmarket feel inside and top fuel efficiency, gives the CX-5 a handy edge on its rivals. Overall, after a day of testing, both on and off the road, it was a challenge to back a winner. It's no great surprise that these compact SUVs are so popular. There's not a bad one amongst these four. We'd happily recommend the RAV4 or the Forester. But for our money it comes down to a two horse race between the Honda and the Mazda and the CX-5 wins this one by a nose. Depending on which way you look at it, either of these cars are capable winners. But given the CX-5 is more efficient on fuel and more enjoyable to drive, it takes out this comparison in a photo finish.